Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my review of Wonder Woman Afterworlds. So I know I haven't done like a uh, graphic novel review or anything on this channel in a while, and that's because I kind of fell off with comics for a while. Um, I got too much to keep up with, um, way too many series and everything, but uh, over the pandemic I noticed I kind of consolidated the amount of series that they were doing, and then I also had to accept the fact that I can't read everything. And a friend of mine also turned me on to the site uh, League of Comic Book Geeks, I think it's called, um, and that's... Uh, that's a really good site for keeping track of you know what comics to read and everything and uh i decided to get back into them uh not too long ago and uh i have a really long uh backlist that i need to read so um you know i i'm not gonna be able to do really up-to-date reviews but as i go through it you know if there's something really cool that comes out or just a comic that's already been released in a while, uh, a while ago, it gets re-released or something, you know, I'm going to talk about it. Um, the book that we're talking about today actually came out a, a while ago. I think it came out in 2022. No, not 2022. I think it's 2021, maybe. This is a book that actually made me get into comics again because I made up my pool list on the, the League of Comic Book East website. I didn't know uh, as to whether or not I was going to... Um, you know, get back into reading them again, um, even at that point. But I went to Al's Comic Shop. Shout out to Al's Comics. I've, I've mentioned this before in here. He's, you know, best comic shop um, over in Stockton, California. So if you're ever in that area, go check out that shop. It's it's a my favorite comic shop. Uh, a lot of childhood memories there. But uh, I saw this book, and it was on my pool list, and it came out a while ago, like I mentioned, I think back in December of 2021. So, uh, I decided, you know, it's on my list. I might as well pick it up and read it. It's a good starting point, I think, for Wonder Woman. It's a volume one for this series. And, uh, it takes place after, uh, Death Metal, where Wonder Woman, spoiler alert, Wonder Woman dies in it and she comes back. Um, I don't like that when it's just kind of death for the sake of death. But it's whatever. It doesn't really serve any purpose in this story other than putting Wonder Woman in a really cool situation. And that's what I want to talk about with this book today. So the first thing I want to go over is uh, the writers, the artists, you know, the creators behind it. Um, there's a lot of people involved in this book. It's a trade. Um, that's the way I recommend actually reading comics if you really want to. Just read trades uh, once they come out. Um, it's way easier because you just get uh, the whole story uh, right there. And individual issues are getting really expensive and whatnot i still have that if you guys look I, I even still have some of those videos that are that old on this channel they said like drawing the line at 299 i might put one of those videos back up just to show that i had that poster hanging up in my room a long long time ago so um you guys can check that out if you want but like i said that there's a lot of creators involved with this book so um too many of the lists so i'm just going to put the list of creators up on here so you guys can look through it uh give them a follow on instagram or twitter wherever you're on um it's really worth it because especially the art and uh first i think we're going to jump into the story with this one so like i said the story takes place after death metal wonder woman is you know resurrected but she wakes up in asgard and that's where the story really shines is that you go to these really cool locations and all these different mythologies and multiverses and everything with diana and i think that this story really showcases you know why she's such a great character you know she's this badass warrior but she's also very kind and understanding and you know she has her moments where you know she needs to just release and have fun there's also moments where you know she needs to be stern and all that there's also moments where she needs to be a badass um sorry about that but uh yeah just moments like that really uh make this a fun story and it's really what i enjoy about it um and i really like the the mystery behind it there's always a feeling of mystery that she's kind of peeling back the layers to figure out what happened um you get to go to some cool multiverses and the thing i really like about this is you get to see a lot of dc characters that uh, we don't see very often or that we just don't get enough stories involving them and that's really fun a lot of c-list and b-list characters um you know because the market's very oversaturated with batman these days at, at dc unfortunately um which you know, i love batman of course don't get me wrong I, I love batman but you know i'd like to see more variety with the characters um so uh it was really great to see these 
these uh, other DC characters. I'm not going to spoil who they are because it kind of gives it away. Um, and the dialogue is really good throughout this story. I really enjoyed the banter that Wonder Woman builds with these characters. It feels like she has chemistry. And um, there's only like one issue where I remembered like there's a couple cringy lines and, and that was it. You know, other than that, like I... I really enjoyed this book. And uh, that brings me next to the artwork. I really, really like the art. Again, go follow these artists on Instagram or something or, you know, wherever you get art, wherever they post their art because, like, let me tell you, it's worth it. Um, I really, really like the variety that's in this book. I like the designs. Cats. um, knocking stuff over. Um, Anybody want any cats? Hey, you hit me up and let me know. I live in the country. I got way too many cats. Um... But yeah, I really like the artwork on this. And something that I, my favorite part about this book when it comes to the art is the colors. And this is something that I've kind of had a complaint with with a lot of comics throughout like the early 2000s and everything, even some of the late 90s is that I think when we switch to digital inks or digital colors, it kind of hurt the look of bo- of comic books. You know, we, we see that with, you know, you compare the Watchmen to... Uh, to newer books you look at the redone colors on a killing joke compared to the original um art and it's just kind of it's one of those things where i think comics kind of lost something there was these really trying to be too realistic digital um colors but i a lot of modern comics now i think have finally found that balance of you know kind of going with a little bit more flat colors or just getting a little bit more creative with them. Some artists are going back to, to, to traditional colors. It's really working better than a lot of the previous digital colorings in comic books have, and I really like that. And this is one of my favorite things of the book. You know, I, I'm going to make sure that throughout this video I share pictures of the art and everything just to show you, you know, how good it is. And that's really like my favorite part of this. You know, would I recommend this book, though? Yeah, of course. Like, it's a lot of fun, you know. It's uh, just one of those books that keeps you engaged. Um, I heard some people say they thought it was too long, and, and you know, some people didn't uh, kind of had mad feelings about it I saw on Amazon and, and whatnot, but I don't agree with that. I think that it was really good. Um, I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you're a Wonder Woman fan. I think this is a great starting point if you want to get into reading Wonder Woman. This is a really good one because, like I said, it's a volume one that I don't. you don't really have to know what happened in the previous one to really set this up. And uh, it takes you to some great DC locations, some great multiverse locations. Um, it really delves into some of the mythologies in uh, the DC universe. And it's just overall a lot of fun. So I really, really have to recommend Wonder Woman Afterworlds. It's uh, definitely worth it. And uh, stay tuned, guys. You know, I'm going to make sure that I have some more graphic novel reviews coming out. I have a couple more books that I finished that I'm going to make sure I review for you guys. One of them is going to be a little bit more in-depth uh, than this one. But I like kind of keeping it short and everything. Just letting you guys know that, hey, it's worth a read. You know, go read it for yourself. I don't want to give you too many spoilers or anything. There's, I think, saving like the more analytical uh, reviews or videos is for stuff like Watchmen or, or um, All-Star Superman and uh, uh, Captain America by ta Coach, which I may or may not be reviewing those two books coming up next. So anyways, guys, uh, that's it for me. I hope you guys have liked the videos that have been coming out lately. I've seen that they've been doing well. Uh, I still want to kind of, you know, uh, uh, mix it up a little bit with some different stuff and all that. I really still like doing the comic book reviews, video games, and collectibles. I think that's mainly what I'm going to focus on uh, from now on on this channel. Maybe we'll throw in some re- uh, movie reviews once in a while. But, uh, yeah, I kind of want to take a break from, uh, from those because uh, I kind of burned myself out on... Uh, doing movie reviews but anyways i'm rambling on guys uh go check out the book and i will see you next time go ahead and hit subscribe and all that great stuff later reporting live from the third planet from the black hole it's the astro floating through the astral plane i maintain this wisdom i'm the vassal yeah. baby i'm just burying these rappers like a time capsule let my mind travel through dimensions check this pimping i'm just trying to find a piece like all the mark